Okay. So that's what we were going to do. Let me save this for today now that we've got those questions. 427. Middle school. Okay. Okay. What are you crying about? Uh, silliness, I think. Stop making your face holes. Yes. Oh, you know that is Okay. So we need. That one. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get our last addition to this problem. So, Sierra, what would you like to stick on this crazy equation? Okay, so after I add the thing, it'll we have to do it all. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna Ooh. reverse it. That's what we're gonna do next. No, you have to add something. You have to, or else I'm gonna make it really ugly. You can add, subtract, multiply, or divide anything. Multiply and multiply zero, so it's... <laughs> oh, no, that's cheating. I, that's, that's very clever. Very, very clever. But that's cheating. Okay. Wait, what did she ask? She said, can we just multiply it all by zero so it all goes away? Which is very clever. I, I will give you that. And that you cannot do because then it would be undefined. Because you cannot divide divide by zero. My point. Um, yes, you can. You just divide everything by zero. No, you can't. So you can't divide. Okay, let's divide. 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 That's like an ode to 72. Okay, so we're going to divide everything by 129. No, 729. 729. Okay. So, I'm going to give myself a new layer here. Go back to this layer, and I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to kill it. Select, deselect. This is, would be easier with keyboard. Uh, no, that's not a better way because then it would be gone. But now, but the way I did it, it's still, it's still there but I don't want it gone. I want it to still be there in case I need it later. I do remember that time that Olive added a million. All right. Okay. So. Here is our new problem that we have to solve. Oi. We have to solve this for X. Or we could be we could be really crazy and solve it for E instead. What do y'all want to do? Y'all want to solve for we'll, we'll take a vote in a minute. We'll take a we'll take a vote in the minute. So we can either we got two variables happening. We can either solve this guy for X or for E. X. Okay? We're gonna we're gonna take a vote here in a second. Oh, wait. Which one um, yeah. Shouldn't that be over six hundred, not sixty? The O and one and X? It should be over six hundred. Should it? Wait. Yeah. See, see girl. Oh, yeah. It should be over six hundred. See, Over 600, and then we... Yeah, you were... I can just continue there. You just, you just kept writing 
I was trying to make sure that that is what we were really supposed to do. Oh, yeah, because then we had to do six. Well, what did we do? No, no. Okay, so we, yeah, we just combined this one into this into one fraction. We, yeah, that's, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so it is 600. No, it was not laziness. It was mistakenness. It was, if you want to, if you want to use a fancy word, you could make a case for negligence. Negl negligence is definitely a word. It's actually a legal word. So that should be 600 and not 60. All right, let's take a vote. For what? Just keep in mind that the future of your next probably two days of class is going to be affected by this decision. Wait, can we vote? No. No, then it would be four days instead of two. And we got to talk about proportions. Would E still be the equal sign, or would it be a different number? It would be a different number. Which one will make it short? So one of them, so that, and that is a fair point, that one of them, we know what the answer should end up being, so we can know whether we made a mistake or not. The other one, we might make a mistake and never catch it. No. So, if you want to solve for X, raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to solve for X. Only Ella, the inventor of the E, wanted to solve for E. Sorry, Ella. <laughs> okay. I told that she subtracted E and he thought it was like E is in like... Oh, like as an Euler's number? That would That would be very advanced. So what, what did your dad say about this crazy problem? He said, cool. Cool. And then someone, and then Jillian apparently had a panic. So that's the end of our conversation. Had a what? Uh, she was really low. She oh, low. she had a tank. That kind of, gotcha. That, that's kind of like the end of most of our conversations. Yeah. But uh, someone, other child has a problem, and then I get put on the back burner. Well, it's fine. I'm used to it. Well, <laughs> So, we've got to solve this. The first couple of steps are going to actually be really easy. I will, I will tell you that much for sure. The first... Why is this 658 right here? Should that be there? That doesn't yeah, look... Because I multiplied by 658. I know, that's... You multiplied... Oh, you did, but then this one shouldn't be here. Because you multiplied it when it was at this point, right? Let's go back and look. Let's go back and look. So you multiplied everything times 658. And you did it here. Yes. Yeah, so this guy should just be 658 on this. That's, that's correct. Yeah. That 658 shouldn't be there. He's going to mess us up. Because you multiplied it when we get, got to this point, right? So that's, that's what should be there. Yeah, so let's put back our other one. See, one more case in point of why we keep our old work. This one's here, but not this one. This one, I don't know why he's randomly there. Okay, which one will, like, are we doing the wall problem? I thought I did a hard It probably will take less time than you think it might, believe it or not. Yeah. No, we cannot do that. That's not fun. This is not magic class. This is fun math class. Okay. Oh, and then all of that. 
over 729. So, our question now is, are we paying attention? This is our problem. We've got to solve this for X. That's our goal. Why? Yes, ma'am? I think that one was 12. I think, I think that's correct. Let me look. Yeah, see, he, see, he was 12. Because we, we multiplied over here, and we had him over 12. Yeah, no, he should be 12. And it's because it reduced here. That's, that's why he's 12. They can only barely hear you on the mic. They can only barely hear all of that, all of those people. <laughs> okay. So we got to solve for X. That's our goal. This is a big, ugly thing that y'all made. Good job. Okay. In order to solve this, we got to take it one step at a time. This is not a one-step problem. <laughs> It's not even a two-step problem. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-step problem. Wait, she still has to have one. No, no she's wait. not been a part. She hasn't put blood, sweat, and tears into this problem. If she wants to join us in solving it, she can do that. Oh, I've definitely It'd be put great. into this problem. Wow. <laughs> okay. We all put so, you. <laughs> for the most part, we're going to end up solving this the complete reverse of the way we did it. That 729 applies to everything on each side. So that's the one we want to get rid of first. How is that 729 attached to everything else? Division. Division. So how do we get rid of it? Multiplication. Multiplication. See, we've been doing blue. Let's do a different color. How about pink? Okay. So we're going to multiply. No, we can't just randomly add stuff. That's how we got here, Asher. You're trying to make it worse. Stop it. We don't want worse. You were the one that was griping about it to begin with. So don't ruin your life. We're going to multiply both sides by 729. Okay. So what's going to happen to the 729s? No. What's 729 divided by 729? One. One. So they cancel, right? So look, we just got rid of a thing. So proud. So now we have 658 times all this mess. Plus 11x over 600 minus e minus 71 equals this other mess. Are we just doing this problem for fun? We're doing this problem for fun and to make a very strong point. What's the point? That I'm sure we're going to That you can do every, anything as long as it's legal and eventually you'll get the right answer. That's true, but I'm actually talking more about math legality. You have to follow the math rules. But your example would also technically be true as well. Minus 71, the despicable 71. Okay, now I'm going to let you humans make a choice. I was going to give you that first one for sure. Yeah, so you'd be included in the you, you, you humans, the human beings. Okay, so what do we want to get rid of first? Or next, I should say. We already got rid of first. What do we want to get rid of first? And I will tell you that your choices really are only two things. Because a bunch of stuff has a shield around it. And so we can't get to it yet, right? 
So we got to get either get rid of the 658 or the negative 71. Which one do we want? I've heard 658. Does anybody? How do we feel? Let's take a vote on which one we want to get rid of next. I will tell you, and I'm not going to tell you which one, that one of them is easier to get rid of right now. What? And I'm not going to tell you which one. So, and we're going to go either way. So which one do we want to get rid of first or next? 658 or the negative 71? Okay. So, if you want to get rid of the 658 next, raise your hand. One, two, three, four. If you want to get rid of the 71, negative 71 next, raise your hand. One, two, and a half. So we're going to get rid of the 658 next. Okay. We're going to get rid of the 658 next. If we get rid of the 658, because it's multiplied, right? We've got to divide it by everything. It's actually not going to make it all that much harder, but it is a little harder, sort of. Now, yes, ma'am. Can I what? Oh, yes, yes, you can. That's right. Say, smart girl. <laughs> continued. Problem continued. Okay. It's like, a, it's like you're a journalist. Story continues on page. 71. <laughs> Lies. Okay, so to remind us how to do this, if we have, let me let, we're going we're gonna to kind of do it a little aside motion. You don't necessarily have to write this. What's three-fourths plus one-fourth? How would we do that? Three plus one. You just add the tops, right? So if I was to rewrite that and like write all the all the all the steps, it would look like this. It would be three. I think I did this the other day for y'all too, but three plus one over four, right? Which would be four over four, which would be one, right? So if I was to kind of undo it from this point, then if I, I then I can rewrite three plus one over four as three-fourths plus one-fourth if I was to undo it and go back, right? Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Like super easy, that sure. Well, and sometimes it's, you just have to do things. Like on our example up above. <laughs> show, me, show me how to draw a three that isn't crazy and maybe we can talk. Okay, so this 658 has to go into this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. That's, that's not uh, any more attractive than any of the threes that I draw. True facts. Because even the best looking threes just look like stupid sideways M's. There is no attractive three. Three is the stupidest number ever. Actually, that's a lie. The stupidest number ever is sixth. Because sixth is stupid to say. Okay, But the second stupidest number is three. Because there is no way to draw an attractive three. I have, de I have determined that it's a losing prospective. Okay, so after we divide 658, oh, what am I doing? After we divide 658, this is what's left. Uh, let's see, what is that? What is that number? That number is thousands and then 12 million, 11. That wasn't even Ella. Good try, though. 12, I love the 12 million and 11. It's a great addition to our problem. Oh my gosh.
Is that a 12? <laughs> Dude, if you would be paying attention when I am writing, instead of all of y'all talking, you would know that I'm struggling with a stupid pen and you would know that that's a 12, so that's a 12. Wow. Sorry, I had a moment. Yeah. Love you, Eli. You're a great guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's because you waited to write until after I was done. What's in the middle of the six and eight? I don't know. What would it be? What, what did we divide by? 658. Is it a five? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, no. You Use that big brain of yours, man. That's a lie. He has a, he has a great, lovely, a normal size human brain. True facts. Fit, keep writing. That's why you're slow. Oh, writing today is because you keep being distracted. You're not the only one. Kind of. Yeah, for once. <laughs> um. So while we get this copied down, anybody who has finished copying this down, we really have only one option for what to get rid of next because we only have one thing that isn't protected by a shield. So what is the only option for something that we can get rid of? Yeah, the negative 71 over 658. How is it attached to everything else? It is negative. Is it added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided? It's subtracted, so how do we get rid of it? Addition. Yes, ma'am. I don't have any lead. Sorry. Eli, don't you have, have lead? I was trying to remember. I probably have a, a pencil you can borrow in my cabinet. Yeah. I can probably I can probably make that work. <laughs> All for naught. It does look like a pencil. Let's see. We've got to find one that has some sharpenage. There it is. It's not going to be quite as precise as your cool and casual pencil, but it's not even mine. It's my It at least functions. <laughs> okay. So, we are adding 71 658ths to both sides. I'm sorry, 71. Yep. No, we're not. 71 is disappearing. Let's go. Going the, going the way of the dodo. Let's hope we can add 72 next. Oh, man. The 658 is also going away, even though it took us two steps to get rid of it. I... Stubborn 658. So those cancel. Okay. So what's left? Yeah, but it's but it's but it's a being hacked monster. We are hacking it away. This is a It's probably Mothra. Looks more like a moth to me. What is what a stupid translation of a monster name, Mothra, because it's a moth. <gasps> so clever. <laughs> so clever. Dumb translation. The monster itself is cool. I'm not saying the monster. I like Mothra, but the name translating to English as Mothra is dumb. <laughs> Comically dumb. What? Okay. No, because there's nothing outside the parentheses anymore, so they can. So we don't need them anymore. Hey. Shh. Shh. Crazy people. Crazy Godzilla monster, monster people. All right. The way I see it, we have two options now. Remember. That at this point, now that it's not protected by a shield anymore, we, we, need, we probably should take a, take a half a second to kind of remember what our goal is. And our goal is to get X by itself. So we want to be getting stuff off of the side that has the X on it, not this other side. 
This other side will take care of itself. So I can see several things that are possible to get rid of. Well, if we look back so what do we, want, what do we want to get rid of next? Yes, sir. I don't know, can you? Uh, yes, you may. Yes. True, but we can't just like subtract a million and YOLO. Because that's not, we can actually, but we wouldn't have seen that if we hadn't have done it, right? So I can see two possibilities for what to do next. Um, and it's, it's six and one half dozen the other in a lot of ways. Either at this point, we can clear the fractions because we know how to do that and get rid of those. Or we can get rid of the E's. So let's take a vote. Sorry, Ella. <laughs> Which one do we want to get rid of next? Do we want to get rid of the fractions or the E's? So if you want to get rid of the fractions, raise your hand. <laughs> even, Ella, even Ella says, I don't like fractions. It would have been easier to get rid of the E next. Okay, but anyway, that's okay. We can get rid of the fractions next. <laughs> okay. No I, no, I don't even want to hear that. Because only Brooklyn held out and said, let's get rid of these. So, you know, there it is. Asher might have held out, but he's not here. That's true. Brooklyn and Asher held out. This corner of the room. I mean, Asher's like half ghost, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay. So, in order to get rid of the fractions, what do we got to do? When we, on all this stuff that we've been working on for like two weeks to get rid of, yeah, we got to do a big bracket, right? So we got to figure out what the common denominator is between 12, 600, and 120. What I think we should do, because we know that 12 goes into 60, what is 60 divided by 12? Anybody know? Five. So we know these two are going to work. So what I think we should check and see whether 120 goes into 600. Because if it does, then we can use just 600 as our choice. So let's scratch paper that real quick. Okay, so 120 into 600, which, I mean, all of these things. So, stop it. So, what do we want to try? 120 times what? Sure. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is what? 10. 5 times 1 is what? 5 plus 1 is what? 6. So that works. So our common denominator we're going to use is going to be 600. That sounds great. It's almost like this problem was manufactured from a beginning. And so it has logical steps. Wow. It's, almost, it's almost like it was made by children. <laughs> All right. 12 goes into 600 how many times? Scratch paper if you need to. How many times does 12 go into 600? It does go in 50 times. That's true. So this first term is going to be 12 million and 11. Times 50. I'm skipping that step because magic. This is this is what I did though for for the for the for the helpfulness. One two zero 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 one one over twelve times six hundred. Then we pre-reduced that and turned it into fifty because it'd be fifty over one. Does that make sense? We are potentially going to switch to the E in a second. We're not done with this step. 600 into 600 is just one, right? 
Okay, so this one is just the top part left. So plus 11x, and then 600 times e is 600e, right? Yeah. Minus 600e. It's always been X. It doesn't honestly matter as long as it's in the same, in the correct place. Now, 120, we already did this just a second ago. How many, 120 into 600 gives us what? Five. Five, that's right. So this is going to be 12 million and 11 times five. Minus 600 E. Minus because it's 120 instead of 12. Okay, so before we can do anything else, we probably need to do a little cleanup. So we gotta multiply 50 times 12 million and 11. And we gotta multiply five times 12 million and 11. I don't know if I'll ever hear that sentence again. Probably not. Did you say multiply or divide? What does what right next to it mean? Okay, it does. So 12 million, I'm just scratch papering in the same color because I'm about to move all this to the top of my page and go to the next page of this problem. Times 50. So for the zero, it's just gonna add a zero, right? So this is a bunch of zeros and then zero something, right? Five times one is what? And then five times one again is five. And then five times zero is zero, 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 zero. Five times two is what? Ten. Ten. Another zero. Five times one is five plus one is six. If we do it times, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of expedite our matters. If we're mul... Oh, that's how old you're doing. <laughs> that was funny. Good job. Way to go. Y'all got the jokes today. Okay. If we multiply it times five, it's going to be the same number, but without this zero, right? So this guy simplifies to 600 million. Plus 11x, minus 600e, equals 60 million. Whoop, hello. Fifty-five, minus 600e. Oh, you're right. That and that wouldn't be where the that wouldn't be where the change would be, would it? Good catch. Thank you. So kind. Okay, so I'm gonna. I got. I need more paper. I've run out of page. Oop. Well, that's right, though, because this one we're multiplying times fifty, and this one we're multiplying times five. So that, that part is correct. Edit, copy, new layer. Hello. Oh no, it broke. Don't break. Don't do it. Everything is something. Uh, control C, new layer. Thank you. Hide that layer. Go up back up to the top of the page. Control V. Oi, where'd it go? Is it down there? Yep, it is. Oh, you're out of page again. I don't want you down there, man. You gotta be up here. Okay. All right, this is where we are. I can see two possibilities. 
Actually, I can see three. I can see three possibilities for what to do next. We definitely didn't make it worse. Do you remember where we started? <laughs> we definitely did not make it worse. I can see three possibilities for what to do next. Somebody tell me one of them. Scream at it. <laughs> ah! Now, what's another one? Okay, taking care of the 600E. So how are we going to get rid of the 600E? I'm going to add 600E to both sides. Sounds great. And, and it combines. Pen, do a thing. All right, I'm going to stop. It combines with which one of these? This guy or that guy? I can't choose those. This guy or that guy? Yeah, that guy. That's right. The one with the E. It's got to go with the one with the E. It's the only way it can be combined. This one does not have an E. This guy doesn't have an E, but that guy does. Right? So those cancel. 600E is gone. So we're left with 600 million... Five hundred and fifty plus eleven X equals sixty million. What's the shape next to the eleven? The X? No, I don't know. It's a plus. Did you hear me? You talking about this? That's a plus. Okay. So, look where we are. We're at a two-step problem. We have something added onto x, and we have something multiplied onto x, and that's all we have left. Sounds great. I feel like something wrong is happening. Did we start with negative five or positive five? Because we're about to get a negative. So something happened wrong somewhere. Oh. <laughs> I swear. You're going to love proportions. Everybody loves proportions. So we're going to continue on this path and then we're going to go see if we can find a mistake. How's that sound? It could be in the creation of the problem. We could have made a mistake in that. It's possible. <laughs> no, see, what, what we're going to do is, is we're going to find our mistake, we're going to mark it, and we're going to move on with our life. That's fine. The point has been made either way. Quit crying. Stop it. No crying in baseball. Okay. This one cancels, leaving us with just an 11x. No, well, it does the way I wrote it, but it doesn't cancel. So we're going to end up with a negative number. How do I know we're going to end up with a negative number over here? Because Yeah, this, that number <laughs> is bigger. Okay. It's going to be negative, so let's subtract 600 billion. Not billion, million. Oh, wait, what? 550 minus. You did extra. Oh, okay. Oh. That's going to be the negative version of that. So, what's the first thing that's got to happen on this subtraction problem, which is actually easier than it looks? Okay, what's the first thing that's got to happen? We do need to borrow from here, turn this into a four, and turn this into a 10. What's 10 minus five? five. We 
got to borrow again. Turn this into a 4. And this into a 14. What's 14 minus 5? What do you, what? I, I need you doing math. It's the only way you're going to learn math is if you do math. True facts. No cap. One and done. What's 14 minus 5? Thank you. 4 minus 0. 0 minus 0. What do we got to do now? No, they don't line up. You could if they lined up, but they don't. What's 10 minus 6? 5 minus nothing. Okay. 11x equals negative 540 million. Four hundred. Boy. It doesn't look like a six. For the 5,270th time, sixes don't have that. I will not say that again. If you write a six down, right, it's on say. you because I've explained it a hundred times. That does. False. False. Five sixes don't have top hats. Facts. No cap. False. False. You're not. <laughs> it's been a year for y'all to be able to look at the board and see what I'm writing. Not that I think you shouldn't ask questions, but the same ones over and over again get irksome. Okay. Now what is the last step to solving this problem? Divide it by 11. How is this going to still equal 5? It's not because somewhere along the line we made, we already, I already told you we made a mistake. Remember? Yeah. True facts. Indeed. I don't know where the mistake was yet, but I bet we're going to figure it out because so. we're smart. We are smart. That's how smart is smart. smart. What did you say, girl? It's not going to equal negative 5 either. Because we definitely made a mistake. We're going to have to scratch paper that. You know what, what is really awesome about all of this, though? I don't know if y'all have noticed this or not. Well, <laughs> Yeah, that too. Um, what's really awesome about this is y'all practiced half a dozen skills several times in the last several days. Should that have four zero? That should have four zero, shouldn't it? Eleven goes into fifty-four. How many times? Four times. That's that's a good catch. You'd almost want to say five, but it doesn't work. So forty-four. What's well, fifty-four minus forty-four? Bring down the hundred. Bring down the zero. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna put arrows on these so I don't so I remember all the correct zeros. Eleven goes into a hundred. How many times? What's well, eleven times ten? Ten times ten is a hundred. What's eleven times ten? 
110 actually, but so that's too much. So it's gotta be what? Nine. nine. What's 11 times nine? 99. 99. What's 100 minus 99? One. One. I'm putting my arrow so I don't forget. Um, does 11 go into 10? Say oh no. It doesn't. So we put a zero and we bring down the next one. You just figured. Which is great. And what's even more, you want to know what's even more great? You caught your mistake. Virtual high five. Too slow. Hit you in the face. So sad. <laughs> okay. 11 goes into 100. How many times? Nine, 99. One. Bring down a zero. Does it go into 10? No. Okay, put it right there. Bring down the four. 11 goes into 104. How many times? Nine times. Nine times 11 is 99. There should have been four zeros in there. Did you add an extra zero? Oh, I four Did you get the same thing as you walked down? Did you, yeah, you brought down those zeros? Because here we would have added 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 z did you add the zeros when it didn't go into the tens? Bring down the nine. Eleven goes into fifty-nine. How many times? Five times. What? As long as you remember to add the zero at the top. Because it doesn't. Because like when you're trying to go into ten, it doesn't go into ten. So then when you bring the second zero, you have to add a zero up here. Does that make sense? That, oh, that guy just had. I just. Hmm. What's 59 minus 55? Four. 45. We put a three up here. Oop, after we bring down the five, right? And put a 30. Oh, just kidding. We shouldn't put a three there, should we, Brooklyn? We should probably put a four right there. What do you think? What's four times 11? 44. 44. What's 45 minus 44? Twice. What's 45 minus 44? Positive one. The 45 is bigger. We're at the end. Does 11 go into 1? Yeah. No. no. So our answer, unfortunately, because that means we made at least one mistake, is 49 million. Oh, oh no. Sadness is overwhelming. 49,090,000. 954. And one eleventh. Your homework. Is to fix this problem? Not quite. Your homework is to go through this problem and try to find, I said try, where you think a mistake might have happened. Everybody has to find at least one place where you think there might have been a mistake. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to fix the mistake. You don't even have to be right. So we just have to find it? You just have to 
look at it and see if you can figure out where a mistake might have happened. We are only gonna spend a few more minutes on this crazy problem and then we're gonna to move to proportions. Because the skill, you didn't even actually look yet. Do you have any problems? I'm gonna, no. We have two minutes, so no. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, I know. You should understand, and I've said it twice today already, that several skills that were practiced are still useful even with mistakes. Okay. Not that you care. But you might, I mean, and if you do. Is this going to be like a you'll thank me Wednesday when you're older? Kind of thing? No, you won't thank me, but you might remember it. <laughs> be glad that you did. Not necessarily. It's not that either. The average point you did Goodbye, crazy humans. Oh, if you don't spend at least 15 minutes looking for at 15, uh, then you've done it wrong, and I will not accept your work. You have to spend at least 15 minutes looking for a mistake. Then you probably better spend some more time. I said at least. No, it doesn't even have to be correct. It just has to be where you think a mistake A either... We was made or probably was Wait, made. Well, what if the mistake was doing the problem? That's entirely possible. You're going to have to probably look at both. I have a guess where, I personally already have a guess where the mistake probably happened. Where? But Can I don't you? know. No, that's your Can homework. You share? Yeah, I will on, on Monday. <laughs> Listen, I mean, we don't even know if that is the that's also true, yeah. Because if I tell, if I told you that, then you would have confirmation bias, and you would just, oh yeah, that's where the mistake happens. And you didn't. Your dad forgot about me again. Well, it's, I actually left. I was about a minute early, so. Well, listen, I didn't be kidnapped, everyone. Hey, how are you?